Oh, so I'm looking at my email because I've been like swamped this weekend, and I just see these Twitter notifications, Twitter, Twitter notification emails of what Rob Delaney said to this other asshole. Did you did you get these? Oh my god, yeah. You know what? My inbox, my 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 inbox. My, I have a box where all my Twitter stuff goes, and it's just it's always full of that shit. You know, I haven't gotten. You know what? I'll just do it now. I haven't gotten around to fucking. Where this? Okay, so, okay, gear at the top. Wait, you can turn this stuff off? I guess so. There must be a way to turn it off. So, like, you're at the top. Okay, profile I'm direct check. messages, not there. Uh, okay, you go to a thing that looks like settings, and settings is like the second last option. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to settings, and I see account. It's under email notifications. Uh, oh fuck! There's another thing on the side. Okay, fine. I didn't see that. Yeah, yeah. They changed um, okay, that. Email up. me when tweets are marked. Yeah, okay. I want that. I want that. I don't. Oh. You know what? I don't need someone to send me. I don't need a fucking alert when I get a direct message because Twitter actually alerts me about that. I don't need a fucking top tweet, tweet and stories. No, bite me. <laughs> Updates about activity from my Twitter network. No, fuck off. Like news about Twitter product and feature updates. Uh, luckily, I apparently have turned that one off. Tips on getting more out of Twitter. Fuck. You things I missed since I last logged into Twitter. Yeah. Oh, like come on, lick my balls. Yeah, it's called scrolling uh, back. Here's yeah, I know exactly. <laughs> uh, news about, but it doesn't even. It's never anything useful. News no. about Twitter or on partner products and other third-party services. No, what the fuck? What? When the hell did I ever select any of this shit? Is this on okay. by default? It, Participation in Twitter research. No, fuck off. Suggestions about people I may know on Twitter. Lick my anus. Suggestions based on my recent follows. Fuck you. Save changes. Fuck. Wow. Seriously, aren't they supposed to send an email out to let everybody know that they've been opted in? Yeah, so I mean, it's been turn going on for a while, off? so maybe I just missed it. But fuck, you know, I've been I've been getting it too, and I haven't really noticed. Like, I haven't gone into the settings for so long because I haven't needed to. It's just Twitter. I'm just like, sc like literally scrolling through the history, making comments, doing whatever, but. Then when all the shit starts coming into my email, it's just sort of annoying. Yeah. Um, nobody asked for this stuff. Yeah. Uh, the Google Plus, I don't know if they do it anymore, but when I first joined Google Plus, they did a lot of that shit by default. Yeah, okay, because they were starting out and they were trying to like figure out what the hell to do. They don't. They, they don't still have might circles. do it by default. I don't know. I just turned it all. I just turned all the notifications from G Plus did off. You, did you notice that they they removed uh, circles or the concept? No, it just says find people. Eh. Yeah, the circles does not exist anymore in Google Plus. What the fuck? You're right. Yeah. Then, how how long has that been? Because the thing has been it's, like it's added been to like circles that. when you. I just, I, when I saw it. Yeah, like you can still add. It to says circles. removed from circles, so circles yeah. still exist, but they're not on the sidebar anymore. No. It's weird, weird, eh? Why did they do that? It's it's almost like we're not making it the 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 header anymore. We're just yeah, oh, the no. concept is there, but. I guess, Why are they I guess doing it's... that? It's making it so much like Facebook. The best thing about G Plus was the ability to, the ability to actually fucking organize people. Yeah. And yeah. now it's all this. I get this. I, I click find friends and I get this fucking wall of people. Yeah. No, I know. Like, what the <laughs> fuck. Google's doing like weird stuff with it. They're changing it from the original version. But what I can't understand is. Oh, Why your circles. They... Okay, there is actually a. There's still actually a. Link yeah, yeah, yeah. That. that link is at the top, but I'm just saying that that the the headers or like the things along the side, um, aren't um, you know, doesn't actually say circles. I guess it was confusing people because they didn't understand the concept for any new users. So they're like, oh, find people. I know what that is. I'm gonna go find more people and and then add them. So, yeah, I guess it's just dumb down for the masses. Let me just exactly. see. I, I wonder if. I'm just sort of scrolling through. I mean, this guy posts way too much. I'm just checking Guy Kawasaki's feed because he would yeah. have mentioned if there was a big change. I, I think I only noticed it a couple of days ago. This is like a super new thing. Like, they, they probably rolled it out and didn't tell anybody. And then most people are like, well, I'm not adding more people unless they add me, you know? And so they don't really notice the circle thing. They probably just see the symbol and then that's that's good enough. Yeah. So I didn't even know Communities was around. I just joined the Doctor Who one, and that's it. So, but uh, yeah, I think it's funny. I I, I, li I like how Google does little updates like this, you know, and just sort of, you know, uh, allows the user to sort of figure out 
the feature on their own. Uh, yeah. But I, what, one thing I can't stand, though, is, uh, and, and they're like, I have two groups. I have people who use the Google Chat uh, you know, um, program, and then yeah. they use the Google Plus Messenger program. Oh, it's so annoying. Like, it wouldn't be a problem. I don't even know what. I don't even care that there's two <laughs> things that do two no. products that do almost exactly the same thing. But yeah, but along with like Facebook one, and Twitter and all these other things, I don't need none of that bothers. Product. None of that bothers me. Everything's so fucking like integrated in my browser and my my phone now. That doesn't bother me. What bothers me is that like Messenger, uh, unique to all of these things we're talking about, it it only works on the fucking mobile. Yeah, it only works on the goddamn. What, what the fuck? Chat works on both. Like Google Talk yeah, works on both. Yeah. So why? What do we need? Like, what do we need but, Messenger for? I, I mean, it's got know. some. That's, it's that's got some I'm good s- features. But chat but, was like perfect. It's it's fine on its own. Like, why do we need another Messenger program? Well, well, what Messenger does is it, it, it like it's persistent. The chats are persistent. Yeah. So you can you can close it and like leave it. It's like it's more like um like if you leave a um like um what IRC? It's like it's like leaving an IRC window open and you can come and go from it. Like it's kind of like that. Chat's not like that. No, I guess it erases the history, right? No, like it doesn't once, erase. The, it doesn't erase. Close, it's not about then... erasing the history. It's about well, the fact that the chat, the chat itself, stays persistent. It mm-hmm. doesn't require like one person to keep it open, or anything mm-hmm. like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, like Facebook chat. Facebook chat's yeah. like that. It remembers everything you were saying before. Well, because so, Facebook chat is basically like their. It's also their email solution. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I, I like to point out, I also fucking hate people who use Facebook chat instead of fucking email. <laughs> like, it's so annoying. I've had four. Oh, my God. Four people send me chat messages, and I just I just shut it down. I just shut, I don't even respond to them. And then, and then, I, it's, I, I, I'm not being, I'm, try, I'm not trying to be an asshole. I'm just, if you need to communicate, I, I'm still old fashioned. I like I'm old fashioned for technology. I like emails. I like having them in my inbox so that I can archive them the way I want to. I, I'm I'm not answering you back on Facebook chat. I do not. I did not approve of it constantly opening every time I'm on that goddamn website, so that everybody in my list knows that I'm on it. You know, like it, 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 it identifies you know, me being online. I don't want that. I shut it off. I want it off completely. It keeps turning back on. Mark Zuckerberg, go fuck yourself, you fucking See, I, asshole. I, I, it has its okay? place. It has its place. It's a fu- but it's... Oh fucking time! <laughs> wow. All about. Okay, I don't know. I have no idea. Zuckerberg actually getting a photo of Mark Zuckerberg and then having like a like having boop, boop, this pop up over top of him or something. I think he hacked us. He's watching. <laughs> He's watching at home, and he totally like I'll show these fuckers telling me. What to did fuck we get off. cut off? It was like right after my rant, and then and then. No, I was just, talking. When you were like happened. you were frozen. I, I you were was frozen I, right after I. I no, no, I wasn't. Pro- I was still in the fucking hangout. You, I got this ding, ding, and you dropped out. And so did I. While I was talking. But did you see? Did you see like a no, frozen image of me? No, yeah. you were gone. I was still live. It we still lost said the it was connection. On air. Well, I mean, are you? I so, invited so you back. I'll bet again. I was still. What's that? I was gonna. Yeah. Uh, 
Um, you invited was, me back, I know, because I was I was busy talking, and suddenly my fucking phone starts ringing. Do 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 do. Sorry, I was just I embedded it to see if uh, it was still rolling on YouTube, and it is. So. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Yeah. So, no, unfortunately, I can't rewind on the YouTube uh, thing. Like they should have like a play from the beginning. Yeah. And then you can go back again, but I guess they're not as sophisticated as uh, as you stream. Well, that covers all of our uh, topics uh, this week. Uh. Do 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 do. That's right. So we lost our chat window. Luckily, we didn't really have a lot of notes this time. <laughs> you know, Chrome has actually suggested that I turn off LastPass. What? Why? They were did saying that it's a security the... issue. Oh, really? Can you believe that? Interesting. Is that a move of Google to sort of say, fuck you, LastPass? Uh, I don't know. Why would Google care? Why would Google care, especially when Chrome is constantly asking me if they want to save my password? Because that's not a security <sighs> issue? Hooker! Why are you looking for that? Uh, yeah. Do you guys have an IKEA in Japan? Uh, yeah. Have Something. you ever had the meatballs there? I'm a vegetarian. Oh yeah, that's right. Did you hear so about this horse meat? I never admit it. What's that? They they they, they said that they found hor horse meat in the meatballs. At IKEA, they find horse meat everywhere these days. Yeah, and I'm I'm wondering if if it's been in everything. And we're still alive. Yeah. Then maybe it's not so bad. I can't, I forgot you're a vegetarian. Well, let me put it this way: I don't. What's the difference between eating horse and cow? Like, it's not. I don't think it's about the fact that it's horse meat. It's about the fact that if it's horse meat and it's supposed to be beef, that means somewhere the controls aren't working. So what the fuck else is going to be? Like what? The what else can end up in your meat? Oh, okay. So then it, it's, nothing's it's going to happen like, to you from eating horse meat. People used to eat horse meat all the goddamn time. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying that it's it's bad. I'm I mean, they're I both just, herd animals. It's just that I, oh, horses are cute. Yeah. <laughs> well, from cows you don't kill them. It's like what really? What difference does it make? What fucking? You're still eating an animal. That's not. That's not the problem. Yeah. Right. Hot hot dogs um, are the problem. When <laughs> when they're like mystery meat, you have no idea what's in that too. Lips and assholes, my friend. Lips and assholes. Yeah, never tasted so good. I had a hot dog for the first time in about maybe four months, four or five months at the movie theater. I went to go see Lincoln yesterday. Why would you eat a movie theater hot dog? What is wrong with you? Well, you know, it was a combo. You and, ordered uh, a combo? Yeah, I got the combo at a with that. Yeah, it was a hot hot dog combo with nachos and cheese and a drink. See, I would have just got the nachos and, well, cheese. Let's use that term loosely. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> orange goop is more they like did, it. They did it's have it. It's just... making me hungry, though. Now I'm getting hungry. Oh, man, I love nachos and cheese, and that's why it was, like, so good to, like... It, Lincoln was, like, a two-and-a-half-hour movie, and, man, da Daniel Day-Lewis was really good in it. He was, oh, yeah. he was really good. Yeah, he was a great Lincoln. How many vampires um, did he kill? Uh, two. Whoopsie daisy! Like, I don't get why Spielberg called it Lincoln when it was just about the 13th Amendment. Like, I thought, I thought they were going to go back to his, like, childhood and, like, what he did, and, you know. Right. Uh, it was, like, it really was just about the 13th taller than Amendment. All the, yeah, it was just about that. How he was taller than all the other kids that he grew up with. <laughs> <You know? laughs> like, just throw that scene in and then, and then cut to the 13th Amendment. But they didn't do any of that stuff. It was just about that, and uh, and and Spielberg in these later movies, I think, I, from Schindler's List until present day, does not know when the right time to end a movie. Like there, there are these moments where you you watch a movie. I think we talked about this already about AI, but there was like a point where you it could just end there, and then it would be awesome. Yeah, and he just he just loses. He's it's like nope. We gotta wrap it up again. We gotta wrap up this movie, you know, the way it was written in the script or whatever. And 
It's just like let the editor do their job and <laughs> end the movie early. <laughs> so you don't you don't need that last scene. But anyway, whatever. So it can be a special feature on the on the on the disc. Yeah. Watch Does anyone this watch those version, anymore? Or? Do you watch those anymore? Special features? Yeah, I don't watch them anymore. I just can't. I just don't give a shit. That's one of the reasons I download movies because it's like. I you know the special features are great, but I don't want to pay for them because I'm not going to watch. Them. I I stopped what the like, DVD stopped mostly coming with them after mm-hmm. a while, but then even the ones that had them, uh, usually they were so shit I didn't even bother watching. And sorry, director's commentary, I had to watch the entire film again. Yeah, you got to watch it again in order to get it. It's like no. Nah. The last no, director's no, no, commentary no. that I watched was Weird Al Yankovic's uh, UHF, which is brilliant. Oh yeah. Because uh, he breaks down every single scene and where they shot it. And like he like he'll he'll give addresses to locations. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the old days, I used to look forward to going to a movie theater and seeing a film. Now, technology has just ruined that experience for me. Like I enjoy films, but I don't enjoy the experience anymore. To the point where I don't care how it was made or what people have to say in these special features. It's not special to me, not special well, enough for me to want to find out more about it. Back in the old days when there was an Empire Strikes Back special or, sorry, a Return of the Jedi special on TV, like a half-hour program, do you remember when they used to have those? Where it was yeah. sort of like a behind-the-scenes? That was cool because it was on television and it's like, oh man, I can't wait to see this movie. And now on DVDs, it's just it's almost like it's become... Let's be let's be honest. I mean, most of the most of the commentary things and behind the scenes crap. It's just so non insightful. Yeah. It's like, oh, you carried a camcorder behind the scene and you interviewed some of the actors saying dumb shit. Yeah. Because they don't. They're because they're fucking idiots. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or, or even worse, they they try to get all deep and it's obviously like what someone has told them about that. It's like you know at the first reading, it's like, well, this this movie is actually about the uh, blah, 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 like this this sort of subtext and they just sort of parrot. You can you know they're just parroting it back. Yeah. It's like, ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so that's why I don't even bother. Yeah, I can't, you I ever, I'm not interested anymore. Do you remember the conversation that we had about Donnie Darko? What, you mean years ago? Yeah, where I saw oh, yeah. it, and then you said, did you see the special, the, the, the uh, commentary by the yeah. director? Do you remember that? I remember that conversation, yeah. <laughs> And then we, and I said, like, what's the big deal about the commentary? And apparently, what was it? The director was like, people didn't get this movie. They didn't understand it. Yeah, yeah. So he was explaining it in the commentary. And I'm like, if you need to explain it in the commentary, you didn't do a very good job. It's, it's not like, and I don't mean in a, in a way like, oh, that makes sense. Like, mm-hmm. you watch, the, you watch, you watch the, you know, not to, I mean, for some reason he's not, it, this is, he's a, it's a bad name to bring up. But if you watch, like, The Sixth Sense or Unbreakable, you can figure this shit out on your own. If someone tells you, you go, oh yeah, because this and this and this, that makes total sense. It's in there. Mm-hmm. But with Donnie Darko, like, it was fucking, none of it was in there. It was like, how would you even figure that out? How would you even yeah. make that connection? You know, it's like, oh yeah, and then he becomes a superhero and stops the airplane. Sorry, everyone, I just fucking ruined that movie for you. He becomes a superhero and stops the airplane. I'm like, when the fuck did that happen? I missed yeah. that part. That's well, you know what? in you the didn't... movie. You didn't ruin it for whoever hasn't seen it because that scene doesn't happen. That scene doesn't happen. It yeah. doesn't actually, and like, and the rabbit, who the rabbit is, it just, it makes no fucking sense. Yeah, it's a different yeah. timeline. And blah, 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 blah. Why? Why does it, it, like, it doesn't make any fucking sense. And I'm like, I love movies that are complicated. I, I slap people who think that Back to the Future 2 is too, co- too complex for moviegoers to understand because it's dog shit simple. I love movies like Primer, which are, it's one of the most complicated movies I've, I, I still haven't fucking figured out. I had to read the Wikipedia page to figure it out. But the thing is, it's an enjoyable movie to watch nonetheless because you're sitting there going, like it's it's an active movie. Whereas Donnie Darko, you're watching it and like this this shit's happening and this shit's happening and then they go here and oh that shit just blew up. Oh someone just got hit by a car. Oh my god! And then there's a plane crash and now he's dead. The fuck just happened? And not in a good way because there are actually no clues and you cannot piece it together mm-hmm. unless you listen to the commentary track. And even then, it doesn't make sense. It's like it's like dude, you had this dream and you're trying to explain it to the rest of us, but you're leaving shit out. Right. <laughs> And and that that it pissed me off because that's the movie that made that dude famous. And I'm like, <clears throat> he's not that good an actor, and it's a shit movie. Oh, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Is that guy. You mean? Yeah. 
Yeah. No, I and mean, people love that movie, and I have I, I have no idea why. Well, it's, it's really I mean, I, I wonder if it's the same people who like Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> I hated that movie. Terrible. Yeah. It had some. It, it has so some good like, moments in it, but it was like it was really fucking boring. Some great mm-hmm. actors. It's like like not. I shouldn't say great actors. Some interesting actors came out of that. Like I like what's her face. Is Tina, Who? um, the the chick, the girl, the girl in it with the ponytail on the side. She basically always plays the same character. She was on Veronica Mars playing. She played Mac on Veronica Mars. Then she played a vampire version of Mac in True Blood in last season. What really? I was so sad when she got killed. Sorry, spoilers. Spoilers. I was so sad. I was like, oh, the only character I actually gave a shit about is just died. Uh, sorry, you said True Blood. Yeah. Hey, that's a new feature. Shows that have gone to shit. Uh, oh, yeah, it's shows that have gone to shit. Well, Walking Dead hasn't gone to shit because it started as shit. It can only get better. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh. You were the one that told me that you didn't like after the first season. I didn't no, the, first the, first season, season. the first season was like, well, like a first season of any show. It kind of makes you want to throw up in your mouth a little bit. Yeah. And then the end, the last couple episodes were just like, what the fuck was that? You just ruined the one thing that made the show watchable, which was like not knowing if the, zom- if the zombies were still kind of really people or not. It's like by taking that the answer to that question away, yeah. the show becomes no longer morally ambiguous. Do you know what I mean? Like before, like killing killing these things was kind of like, well, may, they kind of might be people somewhere inside, and we kind of feel guilty about that. And then like, oh no, they're not people. It's okay. They're totally zombies. And then it's like, okay, well, there's that moral ambiguity down the toilet, like which was one of the great things about the. And then and it makes a second season. It makes the second season that much harder, like that much dumber, because the whole point of the second season is the dude who keeps them, who keeps his neighbors, the zombie neighbors, because he thinks there's still people deep inside. Okay. Well, right. That's the fucking. I didn't point get to that part season. yet. It's okay because it's not. I mean, if any. No, you didn't ruin anything. Books, but, uh, yeah. It's um. But like that's that's the big thing is he he thinks that he doesn't want them killing zombies because he thinks they're people. But now we know because of that episode in the first season that he is 100 percent wrong. In the comic book version, which kind of also it kind of went to shit after a while as well, I stopped reading it. Mm-hmm. In that in that section, that you didn't know if he was right or not. Okay. And so there was some ambiguity. So wait, so it. the so the TV show sort of did a cop out and tried to explain everything after the first season. Yeah, not everything. They just explained well, that the zombies know. aren't people anymore. Like a hundred percent, no way, they're not people. Mm-hmm. That the virus just sort of takes over the body and it's just the vessel. Yeah. Yeah, okay. and so there's like the person's gone, so that makes the whole idea of like. Well, so that guy, that but that scene, I, I I kind of agree that um that they shouldn't have had that whole sequence of them going to the CDC and like they didn't need to do that now. That could have been like two or three seasons in. Yeah. And. Uh, well, the dude but, said he was originally going to do it in the comic book, but then he was trying to push things along, so he didn't he didn't do it. So he he didn't do it at all. He didn't do it in the comic book, no. Oh, okay. Well, so that was just that was just uh, that was just AMC doing whatever they wanted. No, you didn't. Did you just hear what I said? He said he wanted he was going to do it, but he was trying to move the story along in the comic book, so he decided not to write that episode. So when they they did they needed to for this TV series they needed to stretch things out a bit more, so they put that story in. Oh. But apparently it was a story he always had in mind. Oh. Which okay. just shows how dumb he is. Because I'm insulting someone I don't even know. But I, honestly, <laughs> I read the comic book. The comic book just kind of went to, it's like, okay, now it's just like mindless. Everybody's killing everybody and everyone dies. And aha, I'm going to kill another major character just for shits and giggles. Mm-hmm. So maybe we should. So basically, the comic's gone to shit then, too. The comic's gone to shit. And the and TV show's gone to shit to you since the TV the show first hasn't been following the comic, which is actually a really good thing because that means, in some ways, you can't predict what's going to happen and who's going to die and when they're yeah. going to die. Okay. Like they delayed, they delayed what's his face's death until the second season. Yeah. Um, and I'm glad you said what's his name because I have no idea who you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, but the second so, season was just so dumb. Yeah. And I, I honestly like Lori. Is it Lori, the wife? In the in, I've seen that actor in other shows. And mm-hmm. I kind of liked her. I kind of liked her in Prison Break. Like, I felt that character was interesting and sympathetic. Laurie's just f- a fucking nag yeah. in Walking Dead. It's like, geez, hurry up and kill her already. Like, she's <laughs> so annoying. 
Yeah. I don't like any of them. That's the problem. Is I don't like any of the characters. Like you don't like Rick. Kid, I don't like Rick. I don't like the no. kid. I like just die already. Just the zombies should come in. The last episode, the, the, the next episode should be all the zombies come in, kill everybody. The world is like zombie paradise. That's it. Dead. Gone. I just yeah. don't care about these people. I do not give a fuck. No gods. Just zombies. Yeah. Well, it's like it's like by the end of Battlestar Galactica, I didn't care about any of the characters either. Yeah. It just they, it's like they were just such fucking losers, all of them. Kind of parallels to what you're talking about. Um, the American Office. Uh, Lenny is constantly taping it. Still, she's still watching a couple of people I know at work. You know, telling me about it. Are you watching it? And I'm like, nope. I gave up on that a long time ago. But the your the UK one was really good at that time. And the American Office, um, I think the very first episode, the pilot, is the exact copy of the pilot of the UK one, but just with American actors and American references. And so they went off on their own, because there's obviously the show's been on longer. But there's a, shit, there's a show that's gone to shit. I, really? really? Yeah, I'm I still, do I'm not like it. I'm still enjoying it, actually. I do not like it. Ever since uh, Steve Carell left... That season after, I didn't mind Andy as a boss. Um, but then they started making awkward, make, making it really awkward with him. And it was a different type of awkward. You didn't, like, you didn't like the James Spader character? Yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, like, he was good, but Andy was the boss, right? So I think when Spader left, that's when the show's gone to Cal- shit. Bob, what was his name? Bob California. Yeah, yeah. Bob Kelly. I don't know. I, I really like this. Great. I really like this. Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't that fond of the season with Catherine Tate. Yeah, me too. I don't know. I don't mind Catherine Tate, but I just she I was, thought that was a weak season. When they went down to Florida and she was introduced, I didn't mind that stuff. That yeah, no, okay. that was really good. Yeah, but then but when, when she and I did like how she members, talked. Her, I did like how she talked herself into the job, but then yeah, like yeah, yeah after then, that. It we'll see like, what happens. I, I, for me, I'm not. I, I think it still might have some some give some go in it. So I, I'll watch it this season probably. Yeah. Well, now they've introduced like a, 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 a crew member is is interacting with uh, with uh, with Pam. Oh. Uh, and so that how was. Did they do I, that? I haven't seen it. The last episodes. the last four episodes apparently. Wow, with, I haven't got none of season nine has come down. I haven't seen any of it. Oh yeah. Okay. There you go. So that's probably why. So anyway, watch it and let me know what you think of it, because I yeah. I couldn't I couldn't watch it anymore. I just gave up on television entirely. Do you remember that show about the Go Train, where all those no. people were on it? You you no. weren't you never heard of that? No. Is it Train Forty Two? Pretty much Tra- anything. Train Forty Eight, Canadian soap opera, broadcast on global TV. I aired never from heard 2003 of it. to 2005. Dude, and it was think 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 about where I was when that when that aired. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Train 48. Wow. And you know what the theme song for that the for that show was? Okay. No. I was like some some guy playing guitar and he's like na 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 train. Na 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 train. <laughs> That's it. Those were the lyrics <laughs> of the song. Na 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 train. Yes. Na 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 train. And then I think it won a Juno. Well, how hard is it to win a Juno, really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, one of the guys that was in it was in another movie that I worked on when I was working at that sound place. And I, and I thought to myself, wow. That's moving up in Canada. Wow. It's a, and it's, they were just trying to get so many. They were trying to get like Canadian sort of almost celebrities. Yeah. On there, Sean yeah. Cullen, Robin Duke, Rick yeah. Green, all uh, those people. Scott Thompson. Yeah, Scott Thompson was on it too, right? I'm just reading the thing. I, I it's like I'm looking at the main actors. I don't know any of them. Yeah. Were any of these? There was that Indian people. guy. It was that Indian guy that was on it. Anyway, whatever. Train Forty Eight, man. Could have been EastEnders. Could have been Neighbors. Was not. Because it went to shit. The series theme song was entitled Train Goes. Train Goes.
<laughs> like, <laughs> train goals, yeah. Because they were on the go train. Yeah, I guess that was the. Wow. Hold on, brilliant. I, gotta, I, gotta, I can find this. YouTube train goes. Yeah, take a take a listen. Oh my god! Oh my god! Someone posted underneath. Thank you for posting this. I cried for a month when I straight when I heard Train Forty Eight was canceled. <laughs> People were watching it. People were watching the show. Someone wrote, wrote, I have searched everywhere for streaming episodes or ones for download with no success. <laughs> and then five people uh, or ten people uh, gave it a thumbs yeah, up. Yeah, but, but the guys, <laughs> but look at, look at the guys, look at the guy's Third photo. Line. Look at the guy's profile photo. With a knife. It's like a hand that. with a tattooed star holding a knife. Yeah, yeah. It's a different, it's a different universe, the Go Train system. Oh, really? Yeah, apparently people do talk to each other. Really? Yeah, I find that hard to believe. Okay, dude, I think uh, I'm running out of I steam. So I so am I. Something you can throw well, you're, you're just you're just starting the day. And I'm, I'm fucking I'm starving. Okay, well, um, yeah, I guess I guess that's it for this week. Then. Uh, peace out and uh, fuck off. Okay, buddy, and I will see you on train forty eight. Na 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 train. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was not our best. That's not our best episode. <laughs>